Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Gold Rush. So today I would like to get all of our mats up to 100%, which is an awful lot of mats now. We've got, we don't just have six, we've got six up there, we've got six over there, we've got four down there, we've got four down there, plus we've got another four buckets. It could take a little bit. Uh, well, I was going to say it could take a little while, but on the other hand, they do seem to be filling up reasonably quickly now that we've got all of this new system in place. It's really cool. I really like it. I'm really impressed with it. But we only have 17% fuel in our generator, so the first task of the day is to come leaping down here, grab our truck, and we're going to go racing back up there, and we are going to install a little teensy-weensy little bit of fuel into the, um, the, the the machine up there. Uh, you know, I need to press that so I can just take a look around. Um, yes, I know that the belt is running. I'm hoping that I can do this quickly. Seriously? Every time. Right, let's let's try this again. Okay, uh, if I press Q and put the diff lock on and then we go a little bit faster and we break the, the stick while we do it. Go on, you can do this. Go on! Leap forward! Go! 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 It's just, it, it's just so weak and sluggish trying to get anywhere. I mean, I am pulling this thing that is almost full of fuel. Uh, I think, it, how many is it? It's like a thousand liters in there. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know how much fuel is on this thing. Um, I do know that there is a lot. So there's probably a lot of weight in there, which I guess we, it, we could forgive the machine for being a little bit sluggish considering the enormous amount of weight that is on board. So let me just grab that one and dump that in there like that right we can leave it we can just leave it refueling just like that and then we can we can run it all as well so let's jump in here and start everything up we're going to start 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 and start and we don't need to worry about any of those so everything should be running now we've got a little bit of dirt in there already so that should all go through you know it would probably help if i had some water running um start that one up is that running is that running um Yes, there is water running there now as well. So if we come down through, yeah, water is running through everything. And the little bit of dirt that was in there is now being processed. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to come racing down here. We need to get into our excavator and we can start doing a little bit of work there. We're digging down a bit. We are actually starting to dig down a little bit. Before we do start digging, let's just take a look in the gold map, parcel 4. And we are over here. So if you look, we actually got to go down about five meters. Oh, two meters here. Two meters in the middle. Oh, right, it's two meters there. Let me toggle the square on there. So it's, we, it's two meters down, which isn't actually that far. And that's on that one and then the next one over. So we ought to be getting close to the gold-bearing dirt, actually. We're not far off of the gold-bearing dirt, which is really, really excellent and awesome and cool. And I'm just going to start this one up, and then I'm going to switch over to digging. And we are going to do this as rapidly as we can. So I know... Ooh, careful. Fuel tank is empty. Uh, that'll be the, the one that I'm filling it with. You know, it would help if I actually had... I was, this is why it wasn't working. I'm, I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. So a few people have been asking me if I can, at some point, use the uh, bulldozer to try and load up this... Um, uh, the, the not, not the excavator. Um, the... The conveyor. Use the bulldozer to load the conveyor, and I, I quite like this idea. We will see what it can do. I don't think it's going to work, though. I think that it'll be very much like the um, the wheel loader that we stuck in the hole. Remember back on old Arnold back in the last season? We uh, we stuck the wheel loader in a hole because we didn't like it, and then we tried to bury it using the bulldozer, and it didn't work. What it did was that the dirt ended up going underneath and just lifting the uh, wheel loader up out of the hole and it was altogether disappointing because I would like to have seen the excavator just there well not the excavator I'd like to have seen the wheel loader just there with a bucket stuck up above the ground and the rest of it all out of sight hiding its head in shame I felt that that would have been the best thing to happen to said wheel loader but unfortunately such things did not come to pass so we've had to live with the fact that the wheel loader is here to stay for at least a little bit longer 
Um, we can always try and sell it, I suppose. I know some of you do like the wheel loader, but personally, I'm not a fan. And um, anybody who's watched this series for any length of time will know that I absolutely despise that creature. It, it doesn't work well. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. It doesn't work well. It's not easy to maneuver around, and the bucket keeps tilting forward. And then, to add insult injury, they've now changed it a bit more, and it's even more difficult to use because it doesn't tilt over as much as it should when it, you're trying to empty it out. So you can't lift the thing right up in the air and empty it all out. So generally speaking, I'm not impressed. Absolutely not impressed. You know, I don't know how much more I need to tip in before we got to stop and empty out all of those things. So let's just go and we'll get a little bit more. And I'm actually thinking that when we've decided that we've got enough has gone through... I'm going to keep going, and then I'm going to I'm gonna switch off the conveyor belt, and then I'm going to completely load it up. Let's just stop now a minute, and we'll go and take a look. Let's run over here. Jump down through here. Safety first. Safety first. You've seen that. I was definitely operating safety first as I jumped onto the conveyor belt and then off again. Um, right, so it, it is coming through slowly. Ooh. I always get a bit panicky when it lags like that when it's doing the autosave. Uh, but it's okay, it's just saving. Right, so we're only on 75% at the moment. We've still got plenty of space for more dirt. Um, I I mean, I was digging over here, which is going to be uh, thus um, overburden rather than anything else, which means that we haven't put in a lot of the gold-bearing stuff. The gold-bearing stuff is actually down there, but I want to clear off a little bit more of the overburden um, just to make it easier for everything in the future. So we, we'll keep digging a little bit of this here. I suppose I ought to dig down a little bit and at least get a few spoonfuls of the better the better dirt. The better the gold the, the gold bearing stuff, the stuff that is actually loaded with wealth. We could do with some wealth. We don't really have enough. We've only got 1.5 million dollars. And quite frankly, it, the you know, in in this day and age with inflation being the way it is, that's probably enough to keep us going for about a week. So really we could do with some more cash. It's, it's never going to hurt to have a little bit more cash. Um let me just bring that one up. I'm curious if this digging down is actually going to... It's, it's that, that... You can see that load-bearing stuff. There it is. There it is. It's going all the way up. So we'll, we'll go and get another couple scoops from down in the pit down here. And then we'll go out. We'll, we'll sort of just watch that go through and see what happens. Why is there dirt falling down over there? That makes no sense. There's, there shouldn't be dirt on that thing. I'm not quite sure why it's falling down over there. Unless it's being catapulted over from the... Um, the conveyor belts and the sluices and everything else. It might just be dumping it out randomly onto the map. I mean, it'd be an odd thing to happen, but at the same time, I wouldn't necessarily be sorry. It could sort of give us something interesting to do to try and get rid of that. I'll do one more scoop from down the bottom here, and then we will go and just take a look and see how it ends up processing as it goes through the rest of the plant, see if it ups the gold level. Because we, we're actually going down a, a good couple of meters there, I'd say. I mean, you're given the size of this excavator and everything. So let's just go there. I'll stop that one a minute and I'll jump out. Oh, there's gold-bearing stuff here. Doesn't seem to be all that gold-bearing. There is a little bit, I suppose, it's coming through. We're up to about 80% in places. If you look at this, where it's shooting down through that sluice there, there is actually a heap over there that's getting bigger as it shoots down through. So I'm starting to think that maybe that heap is our tailings pile. It's not actually generating over there, it's generating over this side instead. Which is a little unusual, admittedly, but I can live with it. I can definitely live with it, because it does mean that we're getting all of this, um, this money coming through. It doesn't seem to have given us a huge quantity of gold. There, I mean, there's still... I think we've emptied everything out now. So the gold bearing wasn't quite as gold bearing as we'd hoped, so we're up to 80%, so let's go and get a load more. Um, I mean... It, I, haven't really dug the hole that deep, I suppose, so that there's still plenty room for more. So let's get that going again and dig a bit more out. There we go. Right. Uh, I'm going to try and dig a little bit here just in front of me so then I can see a little bit better as we scoop up the rest. Put it onto this one. Empty it out. Uh, I've been spooning a bit of stuff in here for a little while now, and I'm hoping that it's starting to get a little bit full over there. However, I'm not in a great hurry to go over and check it out, because uh, I can sort of see a little bit from here. It doesn't look like it's full. Um, but no, I've been scraping more of this overburden off out of the way, so most of what has gone through I don't think is actually going to be uh, anything of value. 
but it does mean that we've exposed a little bit more of the actual gold bearing stuff which is the, the stuff that counts this is the stuff that i'm interested in way down here we look down the bottom here and we're starting to get to more of this down here this is what i'd like to get to and i'm also i am wondering how we should progress with this whether we should just like dig in a few random spots or if we should try to dig all the way down because there's two different approaches that we could take we could dig random spots all the way across the claim or we could go through and just try to put the whole claim through just you'd literally just dig up the entire claim dump everything through the plant and then you know and do it like that i'm sort of thinking that either one would work i mean if we're going to do the entire claim it's going to mean several videos of me just doing this um there's it's not going to be a lot of variety in this and i know that variety is the spice of life so probably it's not the best approach to do at least not for a youtube playthrough i mean i probably i would possibly be prepared to do this on my own time um but not um only if i'm actually want actually playing the game um again i probably for me personally i probably wouldn't do it anyway it's um yeah but it, just for the youtube series i'm not going to go and spend 14 hours spooning all of this out on my own so that we can advance a little bit in the next video because i just don't have that kind of time available it's it's not something that can happen um, so yeah, I'm, I am thinking that it'd probably be best if we go for a, a random dig spot around the place. But that being said, I do also quite like the idea of digging everything out in this little area that we got going here. Um, and take it all the way down to the very bottom of the claim. And dig out, you know, because we've got this like little gold rich spot here on the edge of the claim. And I think that we could actually end up making a little bit of cash if we were to dig all of this out. It could be interesting. I think it could prove interesting. So let's just dig down a little bit further. Because now that I'm getting lower down, we are, I'm sure, getting a little bit more gold in each of our bucketfuls that goes into the plant. So like I said, I've been doing this for a little while. So let me just jump out a minute and we will go and we will check the state of all of the mats over there. See how they're doing. Are they getting even close to 100%? I very much doubt it. Oh, actually they are. Those up there are at 95%. This is an excellent thing. I mean, these down here are not so much, but that's okay. I can live with that. I don't mind. Um, if those up there at 90, 95, I, I don't really want to take it all the way to completely 100% full because it does mean that we're going to be losing a bit of cash here in places. So I figure that what we should do now is we'll go and we'll turn off that conveyor belt. Just the last little bit is coming off that conveyor belt now. We'll let that all run through. So that's now dropped down into that section down there. And then we can let that run up through and go through the conveyor belt here. So there's not going to be a lot of it left. And then once that's gone through, we can switch all of this off. The whole thing can all be switched off. And then we will get that conveyor belt. We will switch that one off as well. Let's come over here. Right, that is now empty. So it's just down into these buckets. It looks like the buckets are out. They're empty. They come on round and we'll look down through this way. And... The D-Rocker looks like it's um, mostly out. Yep. And then down onto this one. And that one is out as well. So we've got one over there at 98%. We've got one there at 97%. They're all above 90%. That is good enough for me. That is definitely good enough for me. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to turn the water off. Have you. There we go. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to turn you off there. So our next task is we're just going to, uh, well, should we, we need to stop the conveyor belt first. Before we do anything else, we've got to stop the conveyor belt. So let's go in here. And that button. No, that button. No. Switch over to conveyor. That button. There we go. Right, so we switched off. Now, the only problem with, oh, I was getting stuck on there earlier. When I tried to start the episode, I was trying to get out of this one. I was just getting stuck on the side. Couldn't move. Couldn't move at all. I just got a little bit panicky for a moment. Right, so we can come over here. I'm just wondering if I should bother filling this conveyor belt up or not. We'll put a couple scoops in. We'll, we'll do a couple of scoops. And then we need to get on because we've got other work that we need to do. We want to get all of those mats rinsed out. We've got to put them all into buckets. And then when we've done that, we've then got to put them all into... Um, 
Yeah, we, we put them all into buckets, and then we've got to put all the buckets through the wavetable. We're not going to bother with the magnetite separator, because we're so far away from the magnetite factory that, I, quite frankly, I don't care. Um, it's, it's, it's a paltry sum that we get from the magnetite thing anyway. Um, I just don't think it is worth carrying it that kind of distance. So we're not going to worry about that one. we got $1.5 million here, and the magnetite will get us 10 grand per trailer load, and it's going to take us... 10 minutes at least to get all the way over to the magnetite factory um not quite 10 minutes maybe a tiny little bit less than 10 minutes but you you, you get the idea you get the idea it's, it's a long way away and i don't really want to do it so i won't because it's 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 my video i'm the one that's making this right and we go on to there so we've got 21 you know what i think that's enough i think that is enough i have worked hard i have broken into a sweat nearly a couple of times having to get you know go between different vehicles um, that's the thing, you know, you, you can work really hard doing a job like this. You don't actually break into a sweat by sitting into a cab, though, do you? It's, it's, it's just one of those things. So you, you, you can end up, like, doing this hard physical job and be really, really unfit and unhealthy. Right, let's just stop that one right there and jump out. And we're going to need a bit of water. And we're going to need... Yeah, we need water in some of these buckets. So we need water there, and then we also need um, some other stuffs. What have we got? I was just trying to. I was just wondering what that was. Okay, so I'm just. What is the best way to do this? So I've I've got some stuff in there. So let me take that one, and I'll put that one over there, and then I'll get a empty bucket, and I'll put that in place. So we're going to do this a minute. We're just going to take. We'll deal with these buckets first. This is the easy bit, and then once we've dealt with the buckets, we can then. So let's just move you over there and put you down there like that. Once we've done these four buckets here, we can then do the map. So we've got to get some buckets with water in them, and we've got to wash that through. And then when we've done the washing through the buckets, we've then got to I'm get in a bit closer and grab that one. There we go. Um, yeah, once we've done the washing of the buckets, we then need to do... What else do we need to do? There's, there's other bits that we need to deal with. Um, we've, got, we've got to get a load of buckets. We've got to fill them up with water so that we can... Um, do the next bit which is get all of the mats and wash them all out so we're gonna have to go and turn on well let's turn the water on up there i think what i will do though is i will disconnect it from the main plant because otherwise we run the risk once you take the cages off once you take the grills off the mats you run the risk of washing away some of the gold don't really want to do that that's that's not something that is on our to-do list at the moment so if we just come over here and i'll just disconnect the pipe from this end like that there we go and then I can go back onto there, and then I can start you up. So I got those two down there. So what I will also do is I will disconnect both pipes from down here so that I don't think it actually does... I don't think you actually lose any water from those. I don't think that's a thing. Let me just put that one down. And then I can grab that one. And I can put that one down there. And then I need to bring in some buckets. So we want to get... Uh, uh, let's start with two. I don't want to overfill all of the buckets with water. Because otherwise we won't be able to use them to put into the machine. Ooh, careful. Right, let's bring that one over there. So we get, we've get we got two buckets there. Let's grab you. Fill that one up. Oh, it does It does have like a limit on it. I don't know what happens if you have like half a bucket full. We'll have to, we'll have, to have a look at that at some point. Maybe we'll do that in a minute. So let's take the... We'll do these here first. These are really quick. So we can do that. I can put that one in there. And you've only got to do it once. You don't have to do it again. It just says that there's no gold left in it. So we grab that one there and we'll do that one as well. And I think it's four per bucket. So yeah, you look there. So we've got two of those are out. And then we've got that one at 90%. It's looking good. It's looking good. And then we got that one there. Do a rinse. Oops, no, I didn't mean to do that. There. Right, that one should be full. We shouldn't be able to put any more from this side into that bucket. I think it is... Yep, it is full. Right, so we got four per bucket, which means we get two buckets from these down the bottom, and we also get three buckets from those up there because we've got 12 of them all together. Um, see, simple math. Who would have thought that maths would actually come into use in real life? I know, I'm as shocked as you are. Oop, I've done that again. Uh, there we go. Um, he says real life as he's playing a simulator game. Um, perhaps we should gloss over that bit. It's still real life, kind of, isn't it? 
I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that it, I'm going to, I'm, I assume, I'm going to say that it is real life because I am recording this for your viewing pleasure and you would be most upset if I'd gotten those numbers wrong. So it is my maths, it is playing out and it is coming, it is being useful in real life. That's, that's all I have to say on the subject. Let's just, just don't ask any more questions. Um, right, so I need three buckets now. I want to put these, actually, I want them up there. No, I want to fill them up first with water. So we want to get three of them down here. We want to fill up with water down here. And then once we've filled them up, then we can dump them up onto the top and we can do our little um, emptying out thingy up the top. So let me just put that one down there and then that one down there and then that one down there. And then jump over and kick them all over. Um, don't kick the bucket. You don't want to do that. Right, use. Fill that one up. Why did that knock those over? It didn't even touch them. Seriously? Right, put that one there. And then I'm going to put this one on here like this. And I'm going to take it off straight away. I'm going to put that one in there because, um, you know, why... Why not? Why not? <laughs> right, I'm going to take that one, and I'm curious what's going to happen if I take one mat and I put it up. Right, so let's put that one there. Now I need to get up on there. So let's, let's, how, do, how, do I, how do I get up there? Uh, I'm going to have to jump over here, up on the side, and then onto there, and then over here. There we go. Right, so we can take the grill and put that one down there, and then get you. Right, now... What happens if the bucket is not completely full of water? You need clean water to rinse the miner's moss. Okay, so it will... It, it doesn't actually like... I'm going to put this one back on here a minute. There. It should still be full. Yes, excellent. Right, so we can do that. Then I can grab that one and I can run it down here and I can actually fill it with water properly like it should be. Let's take you. Put you on there. Fill that one up completely. There we go. So it does actually work properly. It does do everything that it's supposed to do. So if I grab that one, I can put it onto there. So there is all of the water. Actually, no, I don't want those on there. I don't want them on there. They're making too much noise. Um, this is just going to irritate me. So we'll take them off. I was going to say we could go and turn the pump off, but I'm going to need the pump in a minute for, the, for, the, for other stuff. So let's bring that over there. And try and put that one on there. Oh, no, I'm, I'm clipping into that one. I don't want to clip there put that one there like that and then i'll get this one here and i'll put this one up here as well because i want two to go into one of these buckets and one to go at uh, four to go in the other one and then we'll deal with the other side in a second so we come up here like this and then we come over onto there jump across onto this side and then get that one right if i, I can i come a little bit close there we go right so i can do that one there that's the first one no, 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 don't drop it. Right, put it back and then grab that one. And it looks like they've changed it slightly how the miners' mosses work um, when you, you're lifting them up. Because we did have the issue where you, you go to lift them and they clip straight down through. And it looks like they've fixed that issue, which is absolutely fantastic. It means it's going to be a lot easier to clean these off. So we take that one there and we come down through and we do that one. That's going to be full now. And if I do it on there... See, it comes up with a warning. There is no gold. You've only got to rinse them once. There we go. And I'm saying this a couple of times this episode just because every single time I've ever done a rinse like this, somebody will always say, did you know? Um, well, actually... Oh, no! There's, there's one... That's a first. It went underneath. Right, let's go down here and grab the offending article. There you are. Come, 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 come out! out come down here <laughs> right we got it at last there we go right we bring that one over here and i wonder if, no i need to i do need to actually climb back up on top so yeah there, there is always somebody that says did you know that you can put um you, you can dip it twice you used to be able to back when the game started it is no longer the case it has been updated since then if you're using an out-of-date version of the game then yes you may well still be able to do that um, but if you're using an up-to-date version of the game like I am, then no, you are definitely not able to do that any longer. Let's put that one down there. So yeah, I'm keeping these separate because I want to see what the difference is between those. And I should have kept those four buckets. I should have put two over there and two over there to see the difference between the these two machines here. I think one is I think that's a gravel pump and that is the duplex jig. And then the planter is the last one. I think that's how it works. I, th I think that's um, how, how they're spread apart. Right, let's put you up on there like that, and then I want to grab you from over that side and put you up on there as well, like that. And then we can come up on this side, and we've got the last grill to take apart here. So we can put that one, 
And we just drop that one down there, and then we take the miner's moss, and we can rinse it out in there. So we should be able to do four in one bucket, and then two in the other bucket. Take that one. So that one's now had three in there. And put that one onto there, and then we can lift the grill, put that one down, and get the next one. And that'll be the fourth one in there, so that one is now full. And there... And here we go. So we got we got three more to do. And then we can go and get the wave table. We can put the wave table down and we can start rinsing this out. I am really keen to see. This is always my favorite bit of this game is the wave table. It's just run you when you've got a load of buckets of stuff all ready to go, and then you just tip it into the wave table. And it's just seeing that gold climb and climb and climb. I know that we are currently on 238.774 ounces. It doesn't seem to be climbing at all. What are our workers doing at the moment? Oh, it's still directional. And yes, a few people have said that they, they're still annoyed that it is, it's directional. I, act, I, I completely agree. I do find that to be the most frustrating part of this game at the moment is the fact that the, the workers are still directional. I really wish that bit would be fixed. Eventually, I have no doubt that it will be fixed. Um, they are working hard to replace, you know, to, to do all of it. They update everything that needs to be updated in this game. And... I am very impressed with the progress that has been made. Now, I don't think we've got anything to join the, sh um, the small pipes. I think that is the one thing that we don't have is a joiner for a small pipe. I got a. I do have a pump there. Um, no, we can't use the pump, and we don't. Yeah, I th it is literally the only thing that we don't have. I'm going to take this one down. I'm going to use this one with the wave table, and so I'm going to bring that one down here. I'm actually thinking that maybe we should. Set the wave table. No, we'll, we'll we'll set the wave table up down here. It's just going to be easier. The only problem we got with the wave table is that it needs one of the short hoses, and the only short hoses we've got are these here. And I don't have an extension for a short hose, which is probably the stupidest thing that I have done yet in this game. Coming all the way out here without a short hose, mainly because um, it's a. Uh, Hang on, what happens if I go... Oh, that one doesn't actually work anymore. You don't have to use that switch. Yeah, main, I'd say it's the stupidest thing that I've done in this game, mainly because um, I have put short hose connectors to everywhere. Yeah, everywhere I have gone in this game, I have used short hose connectors. I have... I've just piled them all up in the tent. Um, so they're there ready to use. And this is the only time I haven't bought any hose connectors at all. I don't have any. I got small cable connectors... I don't even have any big cable connectors. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't bring any of them. I have utterly, utterly failed on this particular point, and I have, I, I'm severely disappointed with myself. I really am. Right, so let's grab that. I've still got some fuel left in this one, so that is good. And we'll bring this one down here. We will load up our Wii generator that we've got down here. We're going to have to jump, uh, run the, the buckets of stuff back. Uh, so let's just put that in there, and then switch you on. There we go. And then we can go and grab that and put that on to there. Right. Oh, we've got to switch it on as well. Ideal. It's all working perfectly. So let's go and grab these. We'll do those four last. We're going to do these five first. I don't... I probably should have kept them all separate so that we could see which ones come from where. But I, you know, quite frankly, I, I think that we'll live without that. So let's just look at that. And we can see our gold going up already. And it's not bad. That's not bad at all. We got we got a reasonable amount of gold coming out there. So let's go in for the next one. Still 40, 47. They're still going. 48. That's got to be it now. Oh, there we go. So that was gone up to 248. So this one now from 248 is going to go on up to 49. Um, 250. 251. 52. Well, it doesn't look like we can get quite... Oh, maybe we are. Maybe it's just going to go through steady. It doesn't... I don't know if we're going to get as much on this one as we've just done on the last one. Uh, I don't know. It's looking pretty good. It is looking pretty good. There we go. There's another one. So that's two for... Almost. There's almost 10 ounces in a bucket full. That's, that is pretty good. I'm quite happy with 10 ounces in a bucket full. Let's go and grab another one. There seems to be less in this one. Some of them seem to have less than others. I'm not quite sure why they would do this. What if I can make it myself a little bit of light? What have I got? Uh, is it L? Is that it? That's the only light that I got. Uh, there was another way to do this. Flashlight. Now I can see. Look at that. That's much better. 
Except I don't like that the flashlight floats up in the middle of the sky like that. It, it kind of feels weird. Um, okay, so let's just grab that one. Put that there. So that's 261. Hang on, we had 257, didn't we? It seems like there was a lot less coming out of that one. That might have been these down the... I, you know, I don't know which ones is which. So we, we had two of them were like 10 ounces each. And then 261. This has gone up 267. Eight. It is climbing. It's definitely climbing. We, we're, we're getting a good result here. Right, that was about 10 ounces as well. So we can go back into this next one. Let's take that. Right, we'll see what that... That's the last one now. So three of those would have been from the duplex jig. At, well, from those mats up there, from the mosses. And then one of them... It was on 271, wasn't it? Right, and now it's on... It's on two, But it's, it's going slow again. Right, so that was about three ounces, which is the same as the last one. So I'm going to make the assumption here, based on the fact you know, of, of the different things we had, that those miners mosses up there gave us 10 ounces per four. So we got roughly 2.5 ounces of gold for each of the miners mats. And then these down here, these mosses down here, they gave us about three ounces for the four of them. So we're getting roughly three quarters of an ounce per map that we've got down here. So those are not giving anywhere near as much as those up there. But when you've got this set up, we do have, we got six ounces of gold in the run for those three there. And six ounces is not too bad because, I mean, if you think about the price there, it's roughly 1,200 per ounce. Um, well, you can say 12.50. If we say 12.50 per ounce, then we've got six grand um, plus another uh, one and a half. We have seven thousand five hundred dollars. So seven thousand five hundred dollars that we get for one rinse through. If everything fills up at roughly the same rate, we get seven and a half grand for what we get just from these two down here. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all, considering that it's not a huge amount of extra work. I would say I'm quite happy with that. I am I am very happy with those numbers. They they do seem good. Right, and now we are looking at the ones from the duplex jig and the gravel pump. These I don't know. Right, so far. They always used to be the ones that give you the most gold, but then they changed it right. That was three ounces. We had another three ounces from that. So that is a lot less. So it would appear that it is still the case now. And it I mean it, for a while, these gave the most, and then the, the mosses up the top didn't give anywhere near as much. But it would appear that it is still the the reverse of that, um, because they did change it round. So basically, they just you know, they completely flipped it, so that most of your money came from the miners' mosses and not from the bits underneath. And it looks like now we're getting roughly three ounces per bucket. So we're getting six ounces per machine on this, which is which isn't too bad. So there's two eighty there. And um, we'll take that over. We've got one more to do. So we'll let that 280 just rinse out. And we'll grab this one. I've got a hose I'm kicking around there. Let me just move that one. Um, I'll dump that back over there. Because we may need that at some point. And grab you. Bring this one back over. So we had... It was on 280. Is it going to reach 283 even? I don't think, no, it's not. So we, we had two and a half ounces from that one. And then this one here. The final bucket here. We're on 282.5 roughly. Let's see if we get roughly the same again. I suspect we will. I suspect it's going to come very close to what we just did. Um, so it's going to go another 0.8 of an ounce. What I'm going to do, as soon as that one has finished running out, we're going to get exactly 2.5 ounces per bucket. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say one of those machines gave 2.5 two ounces per bucket and one of them gave 3 ounces per bucket, which is very interesting. I'd like to do, might possibly do this in our next episode, is I would like to take a, switch that one off, I'm going to need that. What I would like to do, most likely in our next episode, is before we do anything else, take both of those there out, remove them both, and install instead two of the, the top tier ones. Don't change anything else. But install two top tier ones on there. Then we'll do a, a run through. We will load it all the way up. We'll load everything up with um, with gold. And then when we've got the mats at plus 90% all the way through, we'll do another washout. And we will see what we get. And we'll see if we get a higher percentage of gold in those underneath. So we had one of them was at 2.5% uh, ounces, which I'm going to say is that one. 
and then one of them is three ounces which i'm going to say is that one so you know hopefully it will give a little bit more now i don't know how accurate such a test can be but i'm hoping that it will kind of work I'm, I'm 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 confident that this could be pretty good so let me just put that one on there and that one over there on there like that so we, we got those in place i'm going to go up and turn the water off a second and then we're going to go to our caravan and we're going to sleep the night and then we can see exactly how much gold we've got from this particular wash through today so let me just come over here and stop you so yes our next thing that we will be doing i'm sure just take that one and put that back on there as well is we are going to head back to town so that'll be at the start of the next episode we're going to head back to town we're going to buy a second one of these right here and we're also going to get some hose connectors because those are going to be really really useful and we can really really do with them at the moment um yeah so we get two of those and we get them both installed and then when we've done that we can then fire it all up and we can do another run through just to see what difference it makes so the last thing that we want to do today is we're going to go in here we are going to sleep until dawn and let's see what we got here we go right earned gold 46 ounces Processed soil, 127 cubic meters or cubic yards, whichever one it is. Worker salary, three grand, 6.9 ounces from the workers. So our earned gold here, this is the bit that counts for us. It doesn't actually include the stuff from the workers. That is what we have extracted from our plant yesterday. 46 ounces of gold. That's not too shabby, really. That's not too shabby at all. Three of those were the buckets that came from the miners' mosses at 10 ounces of gold each. So the miners' mosses did give a really good yield. That worked really well. But yeah, what we'll do is with the next thing we're going to do is we're going to upgrade both of those to maximum level. And then we will do another run. We'll run everything through. I'm going to assume that the quality of the dirt doesn't actually affect the amount of gold you get in each washout. We will see, though, because we can compare it to what we get from the miners' mosses. We're not changing anything else. So as we dig, we, if we get more than 10 ounces on those up there, then we'll know that the dirt itself does actually affect it. But I, my theory at the moment is that the dirt, if you've got really poor gold-quality dirt, then it's just going to take you ages to fill the mats up. Whereas if you've got a high quantity of dirt in the soil, it's going to fill up really, really quickly. So that's my theory at the moment, and we're going to test that thoroughly. Um, once we've done that, then I think the next thing we'll upgrade is a trommel. But anyway, um, but that's all I've got time for today. So if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.